Let's check out the new DMU Ghana train. The inside compartments. So that's the cockpit you can see over there. Subscribe so to the our new channel. train will operate on the 96.7 kilometer single track line connecting the port of Thema, that is east of the of Accra with the river port of Mpakandan, which was opened in 2022. They started a test in Poland and now currently we have the train in Ghana here. The second batch, so this is the first, actually the first batch of the train. The second batch of the train is expected to be shipped somewhere in May of this year and arrive in Ghana by August 2024. Here are some of the train specifications. The new trains will be barrier free, equipped with air conditioning and Wi-Fi. The new DMUs provide a design with at least some some of the seats in the first and second to be that of for first class with a seating capacity of about 115 seats and for wheelchair passengers for the blind and partially sighted information are labeled in braille and they are available on the board of the train so that it can still be able to communicate the 44.42 meter long dmus are equipped with an etcs control system a gsmr a cctv camera system and are able to operate at a maximum speed of 160 kilometers per hour. Each set can reach a maximum speed of up to 160 kilometers per hour. The first unit offers 131 seats, contributing to the total seating capacity of 262 and operate with a power output of 780 kilowatts. The second unit DMU002 PESA. The, so this one is um, DMU001 PESA. Um, Regio 160 provide the 141 seat with an overall capacity of 222 seats. That's 222 seats. And that one also has a power capacity of 750 watts so the new train as it has come uh, many are advising the market women not to go and sell Kobe and money inside it so that at least we can also have something fresh up in town there are other trains that are running but so many of it is needed in the country there's so many trains if there's a train from accra all the way to kumasi or tamale and there are proper route that it passes a lot of accidents will be eliminated and there's so much pressure that is mounted in Accra, the the pressure that is mounted in Accra will be reduced in terms of rent and other other things. So if there's a train all the way coming from um, Tamale or Upper East or Upper West to the Greater Accra, you can stay. You can stay in Tamale and board a train all the way to Accra work board a train and go back you don't need to come and stay in Accra uh, with huge rent and all that to to waste your money so if there's a railway system that is connecting the country in all aspects 
you can just stay somewhere. You can buy a thousand Ghana cities land or a 500 Ghana cities land somewhere in a village somewhere. And so far as you can meet the railway line, you stand by the roadside, you work in Accra or you work in Tamale. If there's a project, you just sit in there, you move. So the railway system is really needed and needed to be boosted. The previous government did their part and did very well. And it's a continuation of the process. That is why all the time we are saying that there should be a national plan or national development plan. So, so with a national development plan, every government that will come will have to follow it. So you have your manifesto. Your manifesto will just be an add-on. So by 2030, this should be our achievement. Whoever is on, you, you must do it. And it is also better, or we have also realized that it is better when institutions are asked to do their own projects. For example, the airports, for example, when a terminal is the airport's authorities are asked to develop a terminal. The airport would, based on their profit or whatever income they make, based on that idea, go for a loan, even if it is, even though if it is directly from government that they are going to take the loan from, government will give them that money to do the project. When they finish, they pay back. So in a way, they are being semi-autonomous and you will see progress. So the railway sector, there's a national plan for them. There is a national budget for them. But other projects that they will do, they can come for a loan. Government can be a guarantor. They can go for international loans to develop it. And whatever happens, they benefit. If they should misuse the fine, means that they have to recoup the money and pay back. They have to find ways and means to pay back that money to government or wherever they want to borrow it from. Rather than, rather than government taking all the, all the work. So if government should take all the work, when they get the money, they don't use it for whatever they are supposed to. It's government who brought it, and they are also part of the government. So the money will just be gone. Now that another government will come and they'll be chasing them to bring the money. That shouldn't be the case. If it is... The Ministry of Education and the Ghana Education Service, for example, and their school building. Every school bring your project. So you bring your project, quota will be given. The money will be given. And the Ministry or the Ghana Education Service, which become semi-autonomous in a way, can go for loans either from government or from national development banks to develop projects. And then when they finish, the internally generated funds will be used to develop these things. So, in fact, we all want the country to grow. We want the country to develop. Um, it is not always that you see all of us, okay, you, immediately you get money, get out of the country. So how do we all get out of our homes and go to someone's home to develop it? So this is beautiful. We want more of this. We want better development for our country and we all want to enjoy. The railway system is just the beginning. It should be connected to all parts of the country so that wherever you are, you can work at anywhere. Because if there should be a train from, there should be a train all the way from Tamale to Accra, Less than two hours or three hours. Less than two hours. A railway can, a train can just move from Tamale to Accra. So you wake up, you have work, you, you are supposed to report at work at nine. You dress up from Tamale, you sit in your train around four. By seven o'clock, you are there in Accra. From there, you can just do whatever you have to do. 45 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour train ride. You are at where you are supposed to be. And then you do the work nicely. Kindly subscribe to our channel.